I'm going to do a video on some vinyl I've got I refer to as the Magnavox collection. Uh, your, this is my mom's Magnavox console stereo. That, of course, now is mine. See a lot of debris down there in the record storage area. And uh, here are the records. Oops, I gave you a little too much of a preview there. Uh, first one is music from Star Wars. I think this is... When mom and dad got married, the records kind of all got, you know, mixed together in the stereo. So some's his, some's hers. Uh, it's not the actual soundtrack. It's performed by the Electric Moog Orchestra. So, it's, uh, okay, next. I was going to say something else, but I'm not. Um, Olivia Newton-John's Greatest Hits. I don't know if this is one I borrowed one day, but I found it in my stash. And I don't know if I bought this or if I just found it and didn't return it. This is one I definitely borrowed and haven't returned. Uh, this is one I've listened to many times. Anne Murray Country. It's a compilation album. I've listened to it many times. It's one of the few albums I actually have ripped to vinyl. Or, it's one of the few vinyls I have ripped to MP3. Okay, next. Uh, Living German, a complete language course. 40 lessons complete on four, 33 and a third records. You can see they're significantly smaller than uh, a 12 inch record. So, looks like they're about a 10 inch records. Something kind of interesting. And no, I have not played them. John Denver's greatest hits. Simon and Garfunkel's greatest hits. Honky Tonk Rag Pickers. Don't know what that is. Hank Williams' greatest hits. Charlene Prickett does floors and aerobics. You can see it's actually a cassette in a record style case. Oh, oh. lost the lost. Oh, lost the tape. I'm not gonna bother to pronounce that, but you can see it's actually a, another one of those cassettes in a record style case a workout thing 30 days to thin thighs hips and bottom another cassette in a record case and finally we get Jesus Christ superstar and oh not so finally the best of country gospel so let me uh, get all these back up uh, one of my favorite Christmas albums of all time I listened to this many times as a kid on the console stereo during Christmas time, of course. It's a two record set. If you get a chance to get this, get it because it is a very well done Christmas album on Colobe Records. Never heard of that, but oh, wait, here we go. Polydor. Engelbert Humperdinck, A Man Without Love. The very best of BJ Thomas. Sweet. Captain and Tennille, who I've I've never really heard of until I watched a video last night by V Westlife where he has one of their singles. So I might be uh, putting this on just to hear what's on it soon. The best of the new Seekers. Not familiar with them. Oh, familiar with these though. The best of the Statler Brothers. Jim Neighbors, Galveston. Elvis uh, Presley, the original motion picture album for Clam Bake. Let me show the back here. Olivia Newton John, if you love me, let me know. Christmas uh, Drummer Boy featuring Don Jantz and his 60 voice children's chorus. Ray Conniff, Here We Come a Caroling. That Christmas Feeling. I think. Nope, I'm thinking that was a two record set. But this one is a two record set here, The Best of Christmas. Kenny Rogers Christmas. Sweet Gingerbread Bread Man, The Mike Curb Congregation. I'll let you see the uh, song titles real quick. Um, not going to comment on that. Uh, and The Grease Soundtrack, two record set. 
I believe it or not, I have never seen the movie nor the play of Grease. On to the next one. Lynn Anderson, Top of the World. 24 Golden Hits of 1973 by The Sound Effects. In other words, not by the original artist. And I would have never bought this record. And frankly, I'm surprised they printed it that big. Uh, An Evening with Diana Ross, a live album, a uh, two-record set. Chilling, thrilling sounds at the haunted house. This is one my parents got for me. You can see it's been around a few times. If uh, I ever decided to rip this and it's too scratched up to uh, rip, my uncle actually has a copy that I could rip. That's probably in much better s condition. Helen Reddy, I don't know how to love him. John Davidson, a kind of hush. Glenn Campbell's 20 Golden Greats. Steve Lawrence, Moon River. Let Me Sing, Brenda Lee. Another Jesus Christ Superstar. Uh, no title on this, and the records themselves say Tommy. It's two records. I'm guessing some kind of a soundtrack to some kind of a play. Charlie Rich, Fully Realized. The Holy Bible, Old Testament, by the Statler Brothers. And the uh, original soundtrack, You Light Up My Life. This says Ram on it. It is an album by Paul and Linda McCartney. Lots of pictures in there. Sugarloaf, Three Dog Night, Golden Biscuits, The King Family Show, The Greatest of Eddie Arnold, Holy Bible New Testament from the Statler Brothers, Carpenters, The Singles. I have independently bought my own copy of this. It was in with some other, just a bunch of records I bought at a garage sale, though this one is in much better condition. In fact, you can see the cover on it is... In very good condition. Come on, open. 40 hits by author Fieldler. A four record set, Boston Pops. Ronnie Millsap, live. Ray Conniff, Somewhere My Love. Loretta Lynn, Love is the Foundation. And finally, Meet the Beatles. Uh, on Capitol Records, High Fidelity, not, uh, I'm pretty sure it's not stereo. It says all, also available in stereo. And The Beatles, Abbey Road on Apple Records. My, uh, I got a friend who has jokingly referred to these two records as my mom's retirement. Anyway, that's it. I'm going to get in and uh, post this video.